I'm going to start by showing you a workflow that has been possible in Petrus's Pro for a few years now. This workflow in the Surface Modeling module allows us to take shapefiles and push them inside Petrel using the Spatial Data Translator. Now we can do this by connecting to the MPD's web feature service or we can use the shapefiles that come from the MPD. If I double click on one of these folders just to show you how this works, so in this case we're pushing license blocks into Petrel, so I'll click on Equinor and you can see we've taken the shapefile from the MPD and we are pushing it as the output data inside Petrel. Now if I run this workflow here, a number of our users in Norway will use this to push all of their cultural data inside of a Petrel project. You can see all of the shapes going into the Petrel project, so whether it's license blocks or well information, pipelines, anything from the MPD can then be pushed to create a Petrel project. The information that goes inside Petrel also retains all of the attribute information. So if I go into the, the license blocks, for example, you can see here I've split it by the operator name, as I mentioned. So if I toggle everything off and just display the Equinor blocks, I can also go inside these layers, go to the attribute spreadsheet, and you'll see all of the attribute information um, is still retained from the MPD shapefile. In Petrus Pro 2020, the polygon filter has been enhanced to become scriptable. So to show an example of this, I'm going to go back and open up a different workflow. Again, very similar workflow, but in this case, what we've done is we've toggled on this area here, which filters by the area of interest. And this polygon, which comes from Petrel, has been made scriptable. And what that means is, as a user, I can define my polygon in Petrel, either using an existing one or by creating a new one. And I'll just change the name so that this becomes obvious. And back inside of Pro, when I run this task, a window will pop up which says, click here to select your Petrel polygon. And I'll click on the button click on here, I can use that blue arrow, it will automatically populate this feature class with the correct polygon, click OK a few times, and that will run. And now those shapes that are being pushed into my Petrel project are very specific to my area of interest, which means I'm now getting my company's most up-to-date GIS information specifically for the area that I'm working in. For more information, please visit our website or contact us on info at petrises.com.au. Thank you.